Every idiot knows that fast food's bad for you, but what if I told you that it's worse than you can possibly imagine? The advocacy group Moms Across America recently reported out on a study regarding fast food, and the results are absolutely shocking. So Moms Across America tested the top 20 fast food brands plus one. We found glyphosate in 100% of them. We found heavy metals, lead, and cadmium in 100% of them. We found harmful antibiotics, and we found an aviary contraceptive in, for instance, the Chick-fil-A sandwich. You may not care if you have fertility issues, but the truth is that's an endocrine disruptor that's going to affect the hormone levels of both boys and girls. And that has a whole cascade of detrimental effects, including things like depression, anxiety, ADHD, hormone imbalance, estrogen dominance, if unchecked, can lead to things like cancer. 85 million Americans eat fast food every single day. So even if you're the person that's making the good choice not to eat fast food, you're still being affected. That includes our policemen, our teachers, are the people driving next to us on the road. It includes our politicians. Those are high numbers. And we can't run a country and have a successful future with that type of chronic mental illness and physical illness. It is a national homeland security crisis right now that we do not have safe, non-toxic, nutrient-dense food. So now it's more important than ever to educate yourself, to support your health and nutrition, to make better choices, and to regularly find ways to detoxify. Amazingly true video. Thank you to those people that put that video out. This is exactly the kind of things I've been saying for a very long time. Anyone that's read my book, How to Eat, Move, and Be Healthy, knows that I give all sorts of statistics about this and I give all the solutions you need to begin a healthy detoxification and transfer from eating fast foods and traditional standard American diet which is called the sad crap diet. Standard American diet, that's the sad carbohydrates, refined foods, additives and preservatives is the crap and there's a lot more you got herbicides, fungicides, rodenticides, um, glyphosate, uh, pesticides. Uh, I mean, the amount of shit and toxins they put into the food supply is mind boggling and it's been going on for a very, very long time. The statistics on how much pesticides are sprayed on our soils every year are incredibly shocking. I calculated based on the most recent statistics I could get, which were about 2019, if I remember correctly. And in the top 10 countries in the United in the world for pesticide use, which include the United States, I calculated out the volume in gallons and it worked out to be the equivalent of something like 50,000 50 gallon bathtubs of pesticides are poured on United States' soils every year. It was mind-boggling the amount. Um, I want to make a couple points. If you read a book called Farmers of 40 Centuries by F.H. King, which was originally published in 1910, he talks about the degradation of the food supply. And the reason that this book was published is because he was working for the United States Department of Agriculture and the U.S. Department of Agriculture or the U.S. government was confused as to how it was that countries like Korea, China, and Japan could feed so many people on such a small amount of farmland, which is called arable soil. He went and investigated these places where they were farming completely organically, and he found, for example, a farm in China where the farmer and his family were producing more food on one and two thirds of an acre than the average American farming family could produce on 40 acres, which the average American farming family said was not enough to feed their family. Why? Because using organic farming methods, they were able to not only keep the soil much more nutritious, but toxin free and chemical free and produce a massive amount of food and you've got all these crazy people like Bill Gates and others running around thinking that we've got to do all this factory farming to feed the population, but we could actually feed far, far, far more people without destroying the entire ecosystem if we farmed organically. To highlight how long this problem has been known about and that your governments do know about this and have ulterior motives, you can look at the research of Sir Robert 
McCarrison. He was a general in the British military. In the First World War and Second World War, so many recruits were turned away due to malnutrition that after the Second World War, where 51% of young men were found to be too far gone to rehabilitate, the British government and military tasked Sir Robert McCarrison with investigating what in the hell was going on and what to do about it. So he looked around the world to try to find the healthiest people he could, and he found the Hunzas of northern India. He analyzed their diet very, very carefully, designed a study with approximately 2,000 rats. And what he did was he put half of them on the diet modeled exactly after the British middle class diet and the other half on the diet of the Hunza. The rats by the 16th day of the study on the British diet were so violent they had to be separated into separate cages. There was a high rate of infant death and, and problems with birthing and diseases and the Hunza rats lived happily and had almost no problems at all and no delivery problems at birth, healthy babies, healthy animals throughout. Interestingly, when Robert McCarrison, which he, he did medical grade autopsies on every one of these rats, when he did the autopsies on the rats, fed the British food of, based on the standard British diet, and then calculated what the diseases were, they were exactly the same diseases the British population suffered from and in exactly the same proportion, showing you exactly how powerful food is for better or worse. So I could cite many such research papers from the United States and show you that the United States government has known this. We don't have a government. We've got corporate headquarters worldwide. And these people have no interest in your health because one of the largest organizations with regard to putting tax dollars into the economy is the medical system. So the more money you spend on medical procedures, the more money the government makes. So you could say the government is in bed with these corporations. We don't have a health care business. We have a disease maintenance business. Nutrition begins in the soil. If you do not understand the soil, it's impossible to understand nutrition. In every lecture I've ever given that I can remember worldwide, and I've been lecturing since 1988, I have asked how many nutritionists are there in the audience? And I could get any from where from six to 60. And I said, which of you nutritionists had training in basic soil science as part of your nutrition training? Not one of them has ever raised their hand. And I can clearly demonstrate if you do not understand the basic physiology of the soil, you cannot possibly understand nutrition. An excellent book you should all read is Science in Agriculture by Arden B. Anderson. It will shock you and it will show you exactly why the commercial farming industry is a corporate takeover and is devastating to the health of the plants, the animals, the microorganisms, and all of us and this stuff gets into the water supply in the air and gets passed around the world, making it challenging for real organic and biodynamic farmers to keep their farms clean. Although no matter how much of that there is in the air, that's a far better solution. So the first thing you should always do is look for local farmers markets. And because the organic certifications have been bastardized by these corporations that make bogus organic certifications, of which of the top 100 organic certifications in the US, probably 95% of them are crap. Did you know, for example, that Pepsi Cola, Mars Bar, Snickers, Kraft, Nestle, and many others that have no business pretending to be organic certifiers have created their own organic certifications, which is absolute horseshit. Therefore, what you've got to do is go to farmer's markets and straight up ask, do you use any pesticides or farming chemicals on this food? If the answer is yes, or you don't get <laughs> that your truth buzzer doesn't go off, don't buy the food. Know that every single dollar you spend on this dangerous, toxic, chemically farmed crap is destroying the entire ecosystem and producing all the kinds of problems they just mentioned intelligently in the video and with careful analysis 
I could list about a hundred more. In my book, How to Eat, Move, and Be Healthy, I show you the ingredients taken right out of a school lunch cafeteria and analyzed by scientists in New Zealand, a country with much stricter pesticide regulations than the United States. And I show you that there's 19 pesticides that were found in a kid's lunch in a New Zealand elementary school. And I give you a breakdown of exactly what they do. And as they said in the video, many of these things, if not all of them are serious endocrine disruptors, which disrupts the growth development and integration of any child's body and mind, leads to emotional challenges, learning challenges, behavioral challenges, and a long list of the kind of stuff that's destroying the fabric of culture worldwide all given by experts on nutrition backed by it i mean you gotta just about vomit when you see mcdonald's or nestle sponsoring our olympics i was once in the new zealand olympic training center after it had just been built I was there lecturing in uh, Auckland, New Zealand, and I was sitting waiting for my wife in the cafe and just happened to see brochures on the table. And it was sponsored by Nestle because they sponsor the New Zealand Olympic Training Center, at least they did at that time. And the first thing it said showed a couple of athletes smiling. Did you know that sugar is an important part of a balanced diet? I looked at that and just about shit myself how ridiculous that was and I showed it to my wife Penny and I said okay first of all they're talking about processed sugar which Candace Pert says is equally as addictive as morphine and heroin and should be classified as a category one drug due to the level of addiction two sugar is an ex processed sugar is extremely acidic in fact within seconds of you consuming it it'll acidify your blood enough that your breathing rate will elevate and you'll start hyperventilating which throws you into sympathetic dominance and is a stress reaction three i've coached the best athletes in the world i've been a therapist for 40 years and i have never met a single athlete that actually knew what a balanced diet was and i don't even know any nutritionists that really know what a balanced diet is because you can't know what a balanced diet is unless you follow somebody around minute to minute analyze everything they're doing and can analyze the exact nutrients and density levels of nutrients and proteins, fats, and carbohydrates in any food, which is impossible to do because if you research this, you'll find that the way the farmer raises the animal, the types of manure they use, the, the amount of exercise they get, and other factors such as the microorganism population changes the ratio of fats pro and proteins in any animal's food and the nutrients in the food so the only way to know if you've got a balanced diet is if you have a balanced body mind response and you're a healthy person and that requires education and you have to learn how to uh, read your body know the signs and symptoms of an excess of fats proteins carbohydrates etc and these are all the things that i teach in my holistic lifestyle coach level one online training program which is my public access course that teaches you how to use the information in my now quite famous book, How to Eat, Move, and Be Healthy, which we've sold over 220,000 copies due to the fact that it's actually a real document, which is the only book that I know of in the world that allows you to customize your diet, exercise, stretching, joint mobilization to your unique needs, which it does by taking, through you, taking you through a series of questionnaires that are weighted, then gives you a score graph and shows you exactly how to go about balancing and detoxifying your body. On top of that, one of the most important things you can do is find a clean source of water. If you go to findaspring.com, you can find clean water sources, or you can find high quality deep well water, um, or you can get bottled water in glass. The best thing to do is buy it from a restaurant supplier. So you can get Avion, for example, far cheaper than you can get it even in supermarkets. Or you can get a high quality water filtration system and use the best quality water you can get, but filter it and you can use uh, water restructuring devices. If you go to greenfieldwater.com, they have uh, great solutions for you there. It might be Greenfield water solutions but i think it's greenfieldwater.com if you listen to my podcast with isabel friend and my other podcast with dolph zantinga 
You'll learn a lot about water. Dolph Zantinga's company offers the Analemma Water Wand, which is a very high-tech piece of equipment that's portable, that has a highly structured water. It took them years of research to make. All you got to do is stir your water with it and it energizes and structures it. So there's a lot of simple things you can do, but the most important thing to do is stop putting poison in your body because every time you do that, you're funding the destruction not only of our ecosystems, but of the very fabric of our culture, which is under heavy attack from every angle at this point due to the globalists doing what globalists always do, which is create disease and disaster and make money off it. And that's just the things that we've got to stop contributing to. So thank you to those of you that created this amazingly factual and true video. And those of you that want to learn more can go to my institute website, chekinstitute.com. We've got the Holistic Lifestyle Coach Level 1 online in the e-learning section. My book, How to Eat, Move, and Be Healthy, you can buy it there or on Amazon. I'm sure you can see the many, many, many five-star reviews on the book. And that book is used by many of the world's greatest athletes to this very day. So let's all work together. We got to clean it up for our future, for our kids. And uh, look, if you got a dirty, toxic body, your mind won't work well. And with the kind of shenanigans these corporations are pulling on people and destroying people's lives, if we don't get smart and get together quick, then it doesn't look good for the future of our children, the future of our planet, or our own future. And you're only as good as your diet and your lifestyle. So you are what you eat and you are what you don't excrete. So those are two very important factors that we should all pay attention to. In fact, I have an audio program called You Are What You Eat, which gives you a lot of practical tips as well and many other things uh, for you at chekinstitute.com. Thanks for joining me. Again, thank you guys for your truthful video.